step 5 we have added code to our pod file step 6 and we have also installed the pod file step 6 we have made changes to workspace pod step 7 we have made changes to app delegate.m step 8 we have added header search path step 9 uh, we have enabled google map sdk for ios and step 10 we have added examples to the project so i think following the steps things should work let's see Okay, I think there is some path issue. Here I should add example. Now it should work. Okay, so things are quite working. Let's go ahead and check if uh, how it's working. And so by default, it's working with map kit. You can see this is the map kit that's working because Google map is turned off. So examples are working very well and now I will turn on Google Maps and see how it works with Google Maps. Okay, so it's working with Google Maps. Okay, it's working with Google Maps quite good so you must have enjoyed the tutorial and you must have found it informative and if you do then please do give a thumbs up to the video and please do subscribe to our youtube channel and please also subscribe to the newsletter of our website nobrook.com because we make react native easy for you Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day.